Okay, so lately we've seen many different ink tablets and e-readers with color screens. That it almost comes as a surprise when a regular black and white ink device is announced. Well, it just happened with Box making the Note Air 3 available for pre-order on their website. So I just wanted to quickly check it out together and share my thoughts on it because it's not what I expected. When talking about the Note Air 3C in my full review recently, I mentioned how I was surprised that books didn't also release a black and white version because that would have been the next logical step after the big success of the Note Air 2 series. Because even with the advancements of Incalator 3 technology, it's still a compromise when it comes to the paper-like looks and feel. So typical black and white ink screens still make sense to this day. And it looks like books thought so as well, but there's a catch. It only got a 227 PPI ink harder 1200 screen. That's the same resolution as we've seen for a couple of years now. And it's exactly the same resolution as in the Note Air 2 series. So even though it got the newer screen technology, the Note Air 3's resolution didn't get an upgrade. That really caught me by surprise because after a year on the market, the Kindle Scribe is still the only black and white ink tablet with a 300 ppi screen. We already knew there is some sort of exclusivity deal for that high resolution in place since no other company puts that screen in their devices, but I didn't think it would be that long. And I doubt it has something to do with cost because books isn't shy of putting high performance hardware into their tablets and asking for that premium price tag as well. And honestly, the books Note Air 3 being released with a 227 PPI screen again is not only a surprise, but also a bit of a letdown. Don't get me wrong. I do appreciate books keeping the eye-friendly focus with that black and white tablet, but without the high resolution, it seems like such a minor upgrade to the Note Air 2 Plus that it's almost not worth mentioning. Almost, because to be fair, it's now using Ink Carta 1200 technology, which should result in even quicker response times, less ghosting and better contrast levels. Maybe even the front light is a bit more even. So if books can deliver on those, that is not nothing. Also worth mentioning is the missing Book Super Refresh technology on the Books Note Air 3. I criticized Books for putting that in the Note Air 3C because with the 3700 mAh battery, it's resulting in a somewhat short battery life. That shouldn't be the case with the Books Note Air 3, which again is a bit of a surprise because Books is calling the new tablets the Note Air 3 series. And with a naming scheme like that, I would expect those two devices to be roughly the same in at least some of the core aspects of an ink tablet, which for me is the screen's resolution and battery life. Both doesn't seem to be the case here, but obviously talking about battery life is still speculation because I haven't gotten my hands on the Note Air 3 yet. What's also a bit strange is it's 20 grams heavier weight, 450 grams instead of the officially listed 430 grams of the Note Air 3C. We already know from my review that the actual weight of the color version is 440 grams, so they might be a bit closer together than the 20 grams box lists. But still, how comes? Could be that the black and white Note Air 3 has a different front glass. I'll try to answer that in my full review in a couple of weeks. Okay, besides all of that, there aren't any surprises. The Books Note Air 3 comes with presumably the same octa-core CPU, 4 gigs of RAM and has 64 gigs of internal storage that can be expanded with a micro SD card. The front light is obviously also color temperature adjustable, the power button also includes the fingerprint reader, and there is a microphone and stereo speakers. And unsurprisingly, it also runs Android 12, which is a bit more refined than what we've seen in past Android versions, but essentially the same with the Books UI, which is a great Android adaption for the e-ink screen, by the way. The tablet can be pre-ordered right now, and will ship at the end of December in the US for 400 US dollars, 
or at the beginning of January in Europe for 450 euros. That's it. Please like and subscribe to not miss my full review of the Booksnote Air 3. Thanks for time watching and see you in the next one.